CA Productions invites you to join us for Coastal Connections with Courtney. This new and exciting television program is designed to showcase wonderful things taking place in South Mississippi. Join Courtney Anderson as she personally takes you on a journey all along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. You'll meet many local leaders, business owners, and interesting people who make a positive difference in these communities. Coastal Connections with Courtney will also showcase a wide variety of great places to eat, shop, and explore. There's so much to see in South Mississippi. So come along for the ride and enjoy Coastal Connections with Courtney. Welcome to Coastal Connections with Courtney this Sunday. Here we are located on the premise of the new Mississippi Antique Galleria. Today we get a sneak peek and we get to hear from Mr. Jordan Nico. Hi everyone, here we are in the Mississippi Antique Galleria. We get the honor and opportunity to meet with Mr. Jordan Nico, who wears so many hats in the community. <laughs> you are the one shaking and making things happen. Here we are in another huge project. So tell me about it. Yes, yeah, so this project has been going on now for too long. Uh, 2019 is actually when we started it. And uh, we, you know, we got, got hit with COVID, really couldn't open up a, a, an indoor antique mall during that time period. Yeah. Then we got hit with Hurricane Zeta and, and had to put, put a whole new roof on the building. And it, it has been crazy. So we are finally at a point where we're going to open up. We're opening up December 1. Uh, we're very, very excited. This has been a work we wanted to do for a while. You know, I grew up going to antique malls. My mom is obsessed with antiques. So uh -huh. She actually had a bunch of stalls at, at one in, in Mass Christian called Bazaar, which is actually where the, our, new, our new hotel is going now. But uh, I just love it. I'm very excited to, to be a part of this. I have some great partners in, in this project. Uh, Jim and Dave have been awesome to work with, and so really excited to get this going. Well, I, we're excited to be able to experience such an antique gallery in Mississippi. Yeah. And this is not just any gallery. Um, it is totally remodeled, upscale, and who will be providing the different antiques for us to look at? Yeah, so we have, we have people from all over, locals coming in to, to antiques, and people who actually have multiple um, stalls in other states to putting their stalls here as well. And it's really a really unique business that, that I was not as familiar with, with before I started, but now I'm, I'm very familiar with. And it's really cool, and basically we have areas that are Ranging different sizes, all uh, starting at around t ten by ten, or maybe a little bit less, eight by ten. And we, our, our base price is one ninety five. And then basically, you rent your little area, and you you, you can range however you want to. So you can expand it. You can do bigger, smaller, how, however you would like. Mm -hmm. And you're able to have your own business be here, and not actually have to man the business. And we're able to actually man the business for you. Basically, what we do is we, we charge ten percent to kind of have have someone here at the store running the store for you and then also to be able to just have people here who are able to show you around who come to the stores and everything else and it is really 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 cool and we're very excited and it's providing the community the opportunity to get to know each other learn a little bit about the history behind each you know item and is it price friendly oh yeah so i mean people's prices are all the way from i i think i've walked around a little bit we have we have about 48 stalls already rented, and we have, we're have we going to do 80 stalls at first, and then once those 80 get filled, we're going to open up another room, and so basically there's about five rooms. So each room will be will have its own name for the room. We have a main street you get to go through. But I mean, the prices that I've looked around and seen are anywhere from about $50 to $400. I and, love that. And, and it's pretty cool. And, and the items we have are really neat. We have a really cool, like, clawfoot tub that, that, that someone brought in, which I thought was Cool thing I've seen in a while. Shutters. There was a, there's a really cool uh, Christmas uh, decor out, out front area. Yeah. I mean, it really is really neat things that I mean that, that I, I, I'm looking around thinking 
Yeah, I wish I wish this is this this, this has been open earlier before I, I bought the furniture from my house because I probably would have bought a bunch of things. No, I know, and it's cool to have pieces <laughs> and tell the story about it, you yeah. know, and learn about each person, their journey, and how they've started this in Duver. So. When you're coming here, could it be an all-day event? Like, can you bring your family, your oh, children? Yeah. And, and so we're, it, our plan is to have, to have a cafe out, out front. So you'll walk in there, you'll be able to have a cafe out front with some chairs and some books and, and, and monitors. That way, you know, if your kids don't want to walk through, you want to walk through, they, they, they can grab a sandwich or, 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 or a drink or some, some ice cream. Yeah. And they can kind of hang out there and read a book or look at some uh, records and kind of wait while you can kind of walk around and, 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 and shop. And, and I mean, it, it, it's really neat. And I think, and I think well, as we get going, we're gonna have uh, flea markets outside and mm -hmm. we're gonna have a bunch of different really cool stuff that we're just planning on going into. And, and to really have like a, a community area that we can basically have later on, have block parties and have all these different really cool things going on. Jordan, I love that you're doing this for the coast. You are one of the huge shakers that are helping the coast grow and think big. What you, when I see you, you're an visionary, but you take risks. You have things that you're like, wait a minute, we live in Mississippi. And you're like, wait a minute, we can make this happen. Yeah, no. And, and this is something that, I mean, if you go to Alabama or Florida or Louisiana, they have tons of places, and I just got tired of kind of having to leave Mississippi to go, go elsewhere to go buy it. And, and But it's really neat. What's really cool is we're getting vendors who have, who have other stalls in Florida and Alabama and Louisiana and they're coming to Mississippi and now they're opening up stalls here and which just, just brings more and more people to the coast which is all we're trying to do which is exactly I, I, I'm very excited for it I think it's going to do extremely well I'm excited to be a part of it and um, my, my mom's really excited as well she, she's going to have a booth here and, yes. she, and so she's pumped uh, so yeah I mean, it's really an awesome that awesome thing well, Jordan, if you're in Louisiana or you're, you know, in tr and want to inquire about this opportunity, how are they hearing about it? Because it's not open yet, correct? No, it's not open yet. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to open up December 1. Okay. Uh, right now, though, if you, if, you, if you come by the Antique Gallery uh, around lunchtime any day, we have people manning it all the time that you can come in here, you can, you can check out pricing, you can see which stall you would like. So some have power on the walls you can use, some have pegboards, some are interior stalls, and really it just depends on what you're wanting for and what price range you want to go into. And then there's a really cool area in the front, we call it Main Street. Mm -hmm. And kind of what we did, we wanted to give it that uh, bodega style vibe where basically there's uh, little huts that we made on each one that have like little cloth toppings and they're, they're really, really neat. Um, and they're, they're, I mean, they're, I think they're, I think they're very, very cool. And it gives, it gives, it gives, a, it gives a, a vibe to the area that is something that really isn't around here yet. And, and I mean, it's, it's kind of its own little mini shopping center that you can come through rain or shine and, mm -hmm. and come find, find items. And I love that because you invest so much into it. I was like, what are all these cameras? And you were <laughs> like, they, you know, you took a risk with that, but do they provide safety for the vendors? Well, they do. And, then, and so one thing that I want to make sure, because, I, I, you know, my mom was involved in this, and one thing that always worried me mm -hmm. was theft or, or, you know, people leaving their belongings with us and, and us having to be responsible for, mm -hmm. for that. And, and how do you take the how, how do you take that at risk? And so we have state of the state of the art monitors, cameras, and locks on all the doors. Our cameras actually have artificial intelligence. They're similar cameras that they use in schools now, where, where if someone walks in the, the actual building, we we can tell them that we can actually scan their face when they walk in, and basically they know where you are at the store, what items you touched, what items you didn't touch. So later on, if someone's stall comes up missing or someone, there's an item missing in the stall. We can go back to that stall, see every person that walked through their skull, and then and then watch the person and then re read their face to be able to figure out what happened later on. And it just puts safety towards the vendors that are doing it, and right. it allows us to be able to operate a store that is is safe. And I mean, it allows people to trust us with their items right. and, and rent from us, knowing that they're going to be protected. Right, as well as the local people of the community, you can come here feeling just safe. You yeah. know everybody. Yeah. And we've had people out of state coming. Yeah. And, and, Thanks and, to the Nikos. Well, and and, and, and it was really cool is that you know that they can scan their items and take pictures of their items, have their barcode, and then they can put it online. And now all of a sudden, people can from Florida or Louisiana are now seeing these items online, and then they're going to the website, and, then, and they can see other people who have who are locals who put their items online, and vice versa. And it's all a big kind of hodgepodge now of all these different vendors in this area. And you think about it, we're going to have at the end of it 400 and something, 462 uh, spaces. And so you'll actually have 462 people in this community that are all vendors mm -hmm. together being able to kind of work with each other and create, create this whole environment, which is just really, really neat. And so, I mean, where else can the Gulf Coast can you go to and shop and get, see 460 people's point of views of antiques that, that they've come to, that they, they've collected their, their whole life and that they want to 
create businesses with. And it's really just an incubator style thing that we've wanted to do for a while and we're very excited to finally be finally proceeding forward. You're very young. If you could help younger leaders that are like, they have these ideas but they might be nervous or scared, what advice would you give them? Uh, just jump all in. Just uh, do I, it. Yeah, I, I think just do it. If you're thinking about it, if you're having hesitant, hesitancy, just, just jump all in. Right. I, I think, it, I mean, I think that's really what it takes. It's kind of going forth and just not worrying about the repercussions at first. And then once it starts building, then, 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 then kind of going through there. I cannot wait to come here. And I, this is where I'm going to be buying stuff. It's right up my price alley, <laughs> you know? I mean, I can't be, this is perfect. And we're supporting the locals yeah. and giving them opportunity for growth. No, I'm, I'm very, very excited. I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna be actually buying stuff as, as well. For, yeah, <laughs> so. oh, for sure, for sure. And I will tell you, Jordan, this is just a sneak peek when it opens in December. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be exciting. We will be here live. Coming up next, Courtney travels to Memorial Hospital to talk about their graduate medical education program. Visit the Gulf Coast's newest casino. Come in today and experience the beautiful, smoke-free Beachview Casino. Pick your game. We have your favorite slots and table games and a sports book. Enjoy incredible views while you dine at one of our many restaurants. And grab a drink while you enjoy live entertainment every weekend in the heart of the action. The Gulf Coast's newest, the smoke-free Beachview Casino Resort, Gulfport. We have new 2023 Mazda CX-5s on the lot now at Butch Ostelet Mazda. Get a new Mazda CX-5 with a 3.9% APR for 63 months. Butch Ostelet Mazda, your Mazda dealer for South Mississippi. Thank you for calling J. Allen Toyota Service. This is what happens when you set an appointment at J. Allen Toyota Service. We will order the part right then so it'll be here when your appointment comes. Our greeter staff will greet you quickly and friendly and top off your fluids before your car even leaves the drive. Then your car will go to one of our six two-man express teams or one of our 10 certified technicians so they can get you back on the road safely and quickly. This is service the way it should be at J. Allen Toyota Service. Select Fort and Gulfport. Get this new 2022 F 150 for a thousand dollars off MSRP, plus a 3.9% APR for up to 72 months. Don't forget, we'll beat your best deal regardless. Beacon of healing, resolute and consistent, determined. We are problem solvers, driven to overcoming obstacles, unshakable. We are prepared, capable, experienced, unbeatable. We are a network of people providing care throughout your lifetime. We are believers in the healing power of compassion. We are Memorial.
So here we are at Memorial Health System. This is Dr. Holmes. And Dr. Holmes, thank you for meeting with Coastal Connections with Courtney this morning. I'm so excited to be here. I thank am you. too, and I have read all about you through the grapevine. We're so fortunate to have you on the coast with the GME program. Can you please inform myself and everyone else what goes on here and what the Memorial Health System is providing for the coast? Sure, so we're very excited about GME, which is graduate medical education. Mm -hmm. So when a medical student graduates from medical school, they're physicians, but we have to, uh, they have to go through uh, residency programs in their okay. specialty in order to graduate, sit for the boards, and become an independent practicing physician. So we had to start a, we decided to start a family medicine program two years ago. And we started with 10 residents, and now we're at 20 residents. Wow. And where are the residents coming from? All over? All over? They're coming from all over the country, actually, and some of them actually are from international medical schools. We try to get the best of the best who we think would be a good fit here in, uh -huh. on the coast of Mississippi to make sure that they have a really good experience. And so far, we've done really well. They have really embraced the community. The community has embraced them, and they're doing very well. And we hope, ultimately, to be able to uh, keep a few of them around. Well, I love learning about this because y'all already have the top providers. We're so fortunate. We don't have to travel. And now you're continuously adding here to different people from different states. And that all contributes to the development for the coast and the growth. That's true. That's true. And so, you know, we all know there's a primary care shortage for yes. physicians. And one of the things that GME provides is an additional uh, workforce mm -hmm. for our, especially our health disparate or populations who need some extra attention. So for example, our family medicine residents work uh, frequently throughout the month at a free clinic here uh, on the coast. Um, they're also, because they're working in our clinics and in the hospital, provide additional health care. So they really are bringing some additional resources to the sure. coast. Plus, we think they're the best and the brightest, and every time you bring the best, the best and the brightest to uh, the community, everybody wins. Absolutely. And okay, so right now you started with ten. Now mm -hmm. you have twenty. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling good feelings? Are they liking it here? And do you think we'll get some of these top students? I do believe the the physic. Okay, so let me just okay. Make they're sure. not they're students. not students. Okay, right? thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Well, it's it's a common mis. Perception. Are they doctors? They're physicians. They're just on a temporary training license. And okay. so when they graduate from medical school, when they're in medical school, they're students. When they graduate from medical school, they're, they are physicians. They're okay. resident physicians. They can uh, take care of patients. They can write orders. They can prescribe medication, all of those things. Right. Um, but they are on a training license. So that okay. means that they are overseen by their attending. So uh, that that's a win-win for everybody. So not only do you get fresh eyes from these new, young, smart physicians, but you have the experienced attending physicians who have okay. been practicing for a long time to make sure they're doing everything so they, they need to do. So they are doctors mm -hmm. and y'all are recruiting them mm -hmm. and in hopes that we are gonna hire them at Memorial Hospital on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Well, we hope so. If, if, if they aren't here, maybe they stay somewhere in the state. Because in Mississippi. Any, so everyone still benefits from them being here. This is incredible, and you've only been doing this, you've only had the program that you're head over mm -hmm. for two years. Correct. We started two years ago. We have 10 medical uh, or uh, resident physicians every year, mm -hmm. and so we have 20 now, and next July 1, we'll have 30 family medicine residents, but we also just received accreditation for internal medicine. So. Next July 1, we will start with six internal medicine residents. This is amazing. And we'll have 30 family medicine residents. So next year we'll have 36. Well, y'all are doing so many great things for Mississippi and the coast. And thank you for your service and what all y'all do for the community. And thanks for your time, Dr. Holmes. Thank you. I just want to say the residents are thrilled to be here. They love it here. They think everybody is incredibly friendly. Yes. Um, and I think they're going to stick around. 
and they're not students. They're not students. They're doctors. That's right. They've earned that name. They I will have. tell you that. Thank so you. So anyway, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Dr. Latak, I have been waiting to meet with you, and I've learned so much already from the Memorial Health System on the GME program. I know you are the program director of the internal medicine, and I would love to hear a little bit about your mission and what exactly goes on here. Well, um, we're here to improve the health of South Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is by trying to bring in physicians that are going to want to stay and practice medicine here. And a great way of doing that is creating a residency where we can train our residents train them in the environment that we want them to learn and grow and develop and hopefully they will stay and want to continue to practice medicine and take care of our communities. Well what exactly would the next steps be? So we have recently um, been awarded accreditation from mm -hmm. the uh, from graduate medical education accreditation body. So now we are actually reviewing applications um, in which that is a, uh, a step where we look at uh, each individual's application, see how well they've done in medical school, mm -hmm. and to decide if we are going to grant them an interview. So then interviews are next, and then we match with those uh, interviewees. And then um, the, the very next step would be in July of 23, they would uh, be starting the residency here at Memorial. Well, or is the Memorial Health System, they provide this program, and it's been here for two years now, correct? Yes, we've been um, writing the application and going wow. through the regulatory steps for the last two years, in which we just were granted accreditation in September. And I did want to mention, is, am I right that y'all are the only program doing this in, this, in the region? Yes, in, in the region, that's correct. Um, uh, Mississippi is an underserved state when it comes to medical care. And that includes um, these uh, residency programs mm -hmm. that train residents. And so there is um, not another program in, on the Gulf Coast that's for the uh, civilian residents. So Memorial Health System is providing the region accessibility and better and more advanced care. That's right. That's right. Um, the, the state of Mississippi is underserved when it comes to having enough yeah. providers and nurses and techs. And so Memorial Health System is changing that. We are um, starting a residency, going to bring in physicians to train them in internal medicine. Hopefully they will stay in this region mm -hmm. um, uh, in Mississippi or even if they go on to advanced training in uh, in a specialized area, hopefully then they would want to come back and use those skills to improve the health of our community. Well, this is very neat and so very interesting that Memorial Health System has been providing this for two years and thank you for explaining it to me as well as to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So Dr. Zoll, I've heard so much about the GME program and I've been dying to talk to one of the residents. What is your favorite part about being a resident at Memorial Health System? Um, my favorite part would be the attending faculty that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, they're very supportive. They love to teach. They're very passionate about teaching. Um, I've learned so much uh, since I've been here, and it's been a steep learning curve for me, but I enjoy every single moment of it. Um, the faculty has been so supportive, whether it's from um, your personal issues or mm -hmm. whether it's like our professional development, um, whether if we needed help with like our QI projects or if we need more help in being involved in the community more, they're always hands-on, they're always supportive in every way possible. Well, thank you for educating me more about the GME program and it's really good to hear from our residents in your experience. Dr. O, I've heard so much about you. Everyone's raving about having you as a resident. And why did you pick Memorial Health System? What was the deciding factors? So after interviewing uh, many other GME programs mm -hmm. around the country, I uh, 
while making my ranking list, I yeah. decided to pick Memorial because of my interactions with uh, the attendings during the interview sessions, as well as the current res the resident that was here before me, like uh, Dr. Zah, Dr. Uh, Valderamas, mm -hmm. and uh, talking to with them prior to uh, coming here was very the deciding factor for me. So. And you love the coast. I love it. We have free parking and we're close to the beach. Absolutely. That makes me so happy. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. We have new 2023 Mazda CX-5s on the lot now at Butch Ostelet Mazda. Get a new Mazda CX-5 with a 3.9% APR for 63 months. Butch Ostelet Mazda, your Mazda dealer for South Mississippi. Thank you for calling J. Allen Toyota Service. This is what happens when you set an appointment at J. Allen Toyota Service. We will order the part right then so it'll be here when your appointment comes. Our greeter staff will greet you quickly and friendly and top off your fluids before your car even leaves the drive. Then your car will go to one of our six two-man express teams or one of our 10 certified technicians so they can get you back on the road safely and quickly. This is service the way it should be at J. Allen Toyota Service. At Butch Ocelet Fort and Gulfport, get this new 2022 F-150 for $1,000 off MSRP, plus a 3.9% APR for up to 72 months. Don't forget, we'll beat your best deal regardless. Visit the Gulf Coast's newest casino. Come in today and experience the beautiful, smoke-free Beachview Casino. Pick your game. We have your favorite slots and table games and a sports book. Enjoy incredible views while you dine at one of our many restaurants. And grab a drink while you enjoy live entertainment every weekend in the heart of the action. The Gulf Coast's newest, the smoke-free Beachview Casino Resort, Gulfport. We have new 2023 Mazda CX-5s on the lot now at Butch Ostelet Mazda. Get a new Mazda CX-5 with a 3.9% APR for 63 months. Butch Ostelet Mazda, your Mazda dealer for South Mississippi. 